If you're doing a sportif or a Grand Fondo for the very first time, there's going to be lots of things that are new to you. Now we're heading out to the Maratona del Dolomites in Alta Badia in Italy in July and no doubt there'll be a lot of new riders there. Yeah, so coming up now are a few tips and tricks which should help both you and possibly those around you as well. One thing that many people forget to do is to change into an easier gear when they come to a stop. You'll often see people pulling away in a huge gear, grinding away and struggling to get going. So if you're about to stop at a junction or at a feed zone or just have a quick break, change up through the gears before you come to a stop. Now, if you forget to do that, here's a really handy tip, which Dan is going to show you how to do. Put your front brake on, lift your back wheel off the ground and with the pedal that's still clipped in, change gear. Then you've selected a nice low gear to start off nice and easily. Right in. It may sound easy, but coming to a stop in a sophisticated way, particularly on a climb, can be quite tricky. So if you're new to the sport and you've just got yourself some clipless pedals, twist your foot and disengage well in advance of actually wanting to come to a stop. And before you start braking, have a quick look around you. If there's anybody close by, give them a hand signal to warn them what you're about to do. Most Grand Fondos are very well organised, with marshals and directional arrows throughout. However, it's still a really good idea to put the route into your head unit. That way you're going to get an immediate alert if you happen to go off course. And you'll also be able to see what's coming up in terms of terrain, which can really help with your judging your pace. If you're new to riding sportifs, there's a strong likelihood that you won't have much experience of riding within a big group. So it's important that you keep your distance and a gap of around a metre to the right in front of you is a pretty good place to start. Regardless of the fact you might be very confident about your bike handling ability because you just don't know what the person in front may or may not do. And also, if you are in and amongst other riders, it's a good idea to hover a couple of fingers over each brake lever. You never know when you're going to have to come to a stop quickly, so it's always better to be prepared. It's really important to keep eating and drinking throughout a Grand Fondo or Sporty. And whilst there's normally multiple feed stations at well-organised events, it's also important to keep topped up between each one. So before you get to the event, practice riding with one arm on the bars, taking the bottle out of the cage and drinking, and taking food out of your pockets. Do this on your own before you get to the event, before you start doing it around loads of other riders. It's very tempting, particularly in the latter half of an event, to have a long good rest at the feed station before you set off again. Unfortunately, this can make you feel worse than you did before. So, get what you need in terms of food and drink, don't eat too much in one go, and then set off before your body starts to get cold again. Stop too long and your legs will feel dead when you set off. So, six tips which will hopefully help you through your first ever Sportive or Grand Fondo. On the other hand, if you're a far more experienced rider in those sorts of events that's watching this video, then we'd love to know if you've got any handy tips or tricks which you've built up over the years. Now, I'm sure other viewers would like to see them too. As ever, you can leave your experiences and hints in the comment section just down below. Yeah, and once you've done that, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to GCN by clicking on the globe. If you've got any mates, that you know haven't subscribed, you can tell them as well. Now, for another video on how to increase your average speed, you can find that by clicking just down here. And for how to eat and drink on the bike, click just down here. <laughs>